Welcome. This is a spoiler review for Marvel What If Episode 1. This is the new Marvel series, animated series, releasing on Disney Plus. So, I watched the first episode and I really enjoyed the episode. I think it was very good. I think it was a really good start for for the series and for this new Marvel thing, this new animated things they are doing, but they are canning to the NCU movies and timeline. So first of all, I want to talk about the animation of the series now watching the trailers for this series i wasn't very excited for the animation style but seeing here in with the contest and a full episode i really appreciate it is more it's very stylish and it's it's very unique and and it has some really interesting details and I really like that. Now for some people that could be that depends but I really dig this style in animation and I wasn't excited for the animation specific watching the trailers so watching the episode really helps now the other thing i want to talk about is the length of the episode at least this episode was 33 minutes long but it was more like 30 minutes of story because of the credits at the end of the episode and I think it was very good uh, what it was showing in the episode. I think we got a lot of things in just one episode of 30 minutes of story. So that's fantastic. The other thing I want to talk about is the NCU covers because this is the building of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the NCU. If you're always looking for those Easter eggs and reference, especially in this episode, there are some Easter eggs, of course, but they like we create a couple of themes for Captain America, the first Avengers, but instead of Steve Rogers being Captain America, is Peggy Carter as Captain Carter. And of course, they changed some of the dialogue and all of that, but I think it, it was very good because some people can say yeah but I already like watched that already and it's just like basically the same thing just with another character but for me it was very very exciting to see they are recreating that especially in animation and the other thing is that it's like good because if you are a big fan of the NCU and watch all of the movies, it kind of is like a reward to you for for watching all of those movies back. Now let's talk about the action. 
Now the action in this episode was fantastic. That's a that's a lot of action in, in this episode, and I really was impressed, especially with Captain Carter. But I really dig her her moves in the in the style of animation when she's jumping to buildings and fighting the Nazi Germans. It was pretty beautiful to see. So this episode has a lot of action. And it's good. It's really good. Especially with animation. You don't have those like restraint. You can do a lot of things. They are not really possible in life action. Or oh, yes, it, they are possible. But they're like way too expensive to do so that's one of the advantage of this this show now I want to talk about Captain Carter and I really dig her her look and also I, I think I can put her at the same level of Captain America, I mean, where when she's fighting, she, she's really powerful. She, she's really strong, and when the kind of move that that she does when she's fighting and jumping, and some of those things, uh, you never see Steve Rogers, Captain America, do it in the movies. Uh, maybe it's because it's way more expensive to do in live fashion, but it's, well, it was really nice to see that here. And really enjoying this this character, and it's more appreciation to this character because we only see her in live fashion in the first uh, Captain America, the first Avenger. And then we see her in a couple of other movies when she's older, and that's it. And this is like a big moment to to shine. Now let's talk about Steve Rogers. Now sadly, uh, Chris Evans didn't come back to do the voice for for Steve Rogers, for Steve Rogers, but the actor. I think the actor did a really good job with with the voice of Steve Rogers, and now he he still of course the this skinny kid from 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 Brooklyn, because in this scenario, is like what if Captain Carter took if Peggy Carter took the seven is that of Steve Rogers so but he he has like I believe C-15 is the the iron suit the 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 Howard's stock created for him and and it really helps him to be in in the field and the action he's really like the big muscle and you know Steve Roger really has a really big heart. And also I want to talk about Bucky Bones. Now Sebastian Stan did come back and he does the the voice of Bucky Bones in in animated form. And and it it was really funny in here. And in the other movies, I think he had a really good lines. But in this in this scenario, that his character is like is like really funny, and I really like that. Also, Dominic Cooper came back to voice how was Doug. It's really good to see. And the other thing is these actors that 
do these characters in live action and then come back to this show to do the voice for the same character. It really helps the the show because it, you it's not really that distracting like a character you seen for a couple of movies or one movie or something like that and then you see the, the same character here but in animation but it's the same actor and you recognize the voice and it really helps the show a lot. Now the other thing I want to talk about is Holly Atwell. She 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 played Peggy Carter in in the first Captain America and also when she's older in in Winter Soldier and Ant Man and she she also came back here to do the voice for for the character that is now Captain Carter and I think she's terrific and I'm hearing some from different people that there's a strong possibility that she come back to the NCU in live action possibly in Doctor Strange, the motive of, of madness and that really makes sense especially in, in that movie that is going to be dealing with the multiverse so I really I would really like to see her in live action I think it would be fantastic especially for for the character and the actress now the other thing I want to talk about is the there were of course Red Skull came back he is the brain they didn't bring the original actor for the first Katamega they bring the other actor who did the voice in Avengers Infinity War I believe yes and his his voice is really spot on. You you can think that he's the same actor for the first Katamega and it's not. He's the he does a really great job doing that that voice for the character. And we also have like the at the end the fighting a monster in here oh and the the master is Shama Gova I believe is that is that at the end who they are fighting in the castle and that's a really nice thing to see more like an well it's a villain but it was more like an easter egg like oh yeah I remember that from the comics and the other thing is that I really like the that she defeats the the monster and she get cut and cut it, get she get pulled up in, into the tessera into the door that was open and she landed at the the events of the first Avengers where they were experimenting and testing the tessera and in the movie the, the portal opened and it was lucky but in this case, in the series, in this episode, the portal opens and it's cut and cut. And the funny thing here is that it's Nick Fury and Hawkeye, both Samuel Jackson and Jeremy Renner return to voice those characters. And they say that they won the war like 17 years ago, something like that. And that's really fascinating because they, they, they recognize her, they, they know her. 
and I'm curious to see how how the next episode will will be like in the couple of more episodes and how I know they are going to do like the Avengers but how these stories going to evolve and what kind of Avengers are we going to get and what kind of story is, is it just going to take the same things of the movie and shame with the characters and the dialogue and or is it going to be a lot more bigger than we think and I'm really excited for this show so that's my spoiler review for what if episode one so if you like this video hit the like button comment below and thank you for watching i'll see you guys later